practically disappears off to the right hand side. So that's the background done for the moment. Let's go back to the eyes next. So I've gone back to my little filbert brush and I'm simply using pure ultramarine blue, which is something of an unconventional choice perhaps for the pupil. But it's something that um, I often do in my work, kind of replace black with, with blue, basically. And obviously we need a pupil on the other eye as well. And then the reason I've done that is I can then just mix that colour in. So I've still got the blue on the brush, but I'm just mixing that in with the kind of light purpley background colour that I had before. That's going to give me a pale blue, but it's a little bit different to the blue that I put on the shirt. So what I can do now is put a lick of that in the eye. And the other one as well. And then I can keep going lighter again. So I'm just dragging off, you know, most of the paint off the bristles and then mixing that in with titanium white. And let's put some of that in for the, the whites of the eyes. And if some of that initial background colour shows through, I'm not too worried about that. Quite like the effect. And that now what I'm doing is, so I haven't cleaned the brush, but I'm just lifting off a reasonable sized dollop of um, titanium white. And just touched a little of that on the eye on the right. And a slightly larger highlight on the left one. That started to bring the eyes to life uh, a little bit more. Now, if you remember a while ago, I said I was going to hang on to this colour that I used on the face because I might need it later. And I, I, to be honest, I was thinking of the actual face, but I now realise if I take some of this colour, add a touch of red and perhaps a touch of yellow, that should be a reasonable highlight colour for the beginnings of modelling the hair. So, so we've got a, a silhouette of hair at the moment and we need to change that situation. So I've gone to a half inch flat brush and sprayed the surface of the painting. And I'm just going to kind of sculpt in some highlights here, following the contours of the hair as a bulk. Okay, so there's the beginnings of some highlights. Now the next colour I'm going to go for, I'm actually going to take some of this background. Let me just wet, wet the paint on the palette a minute. I'm actually going to take a, a, an amount of that lighter background colour I had. Uh, a little bit more white in there. And a little bit of the light blue that I just used for the, for the whites of the eyes. I think that's going to work reasonably well for some of the hair here on the side of the head. And I'm just kind of lightly dragging the paint across the surface of what's already there to get a little bit of dry brush effect and a little bit of automatic mixing, hopefully. I can pick out a couple more highlights up here. While I have that light colour on the brush, I'm going to just highlight the buttons a little. I'm not overly concerned, but just to indicate that they're there. And now I've taken that same colour, added some more titanium white and a lot of yellow. And I'm going to use this to try to, try to make some of the, the highlights on the face pop a little more where I think it's appropriate. Just a, these little kind of lightning strikes of light. 
begin to bring the face to life. Still using my half inch flat brush, putting the paint on fairly quick, uh, fairly thickly. Didn't like the shape of that one. So let's lift off a little bit of the finger there. A little bit more light on the neck and then there's a bit of light catching on the eye there Next, I need to add some highlights to the lips. So what I did was I took some of the that kind of light purpley color I had before, mixed in some titanium white, a little bit of the alizarin crimson. So it's basically a pink, but it's a little bit of an off pink because I mixed it in with that earlier color. And it's just a nice way to keep the color scheme reasonably harmonious. So let's see how that works for the highlight color on the lip. It's probably not light enough, to be honest with you.